Transit Connect with an IKEA bed in the back. And you said 2019. I think that was cut off because we weren't started yet. Okay, so show me how you have the inside set up. Well, I put an IKEA bed in there. Let me open up the other side. She's got a lot of floor space here. Put the bed back there. Then I built some cabinets. This was for my shoes. That was for my pantry items. Hold I've on. got a couple of fans in here, which me will get, get me inside. through the hot. And then I use an electric blanket and a space heater for the cold. And I have been everywhere from 27 degrees to 95. And this has worked out just fine. I keep the clothes under the bed and the, the Rubbermaid containers. Uh, kitchen items are on the other side in a Rubbermaid container. I carry my gym bag with me that takes me into the bathroom for showers. Now, how do you power the um, I have the have heater, electricity. the electricity yeah. on the blanket? I had a hole cut on the outside and a plug put on the inside, and that way, whatever I plug in to recharge my phone or my iPad, and I do carry an iPad with phone, uh, shows downloaded in okay. case there's no internet connection. And then you have a microwave. I got a really simple microwave uh, because sometimes, like Publix, has these meals. Mm -hmm. And for two minutes, it's a piece of salmon and some rice and some vegetables. It's really good. Okay. Yeah. The curtain protects me from people seeing it in the front. In the back, I have these things that just slap up under the windows, and that gives me privacy back there. I have mostly magnetic things, like hooks are all magnetized, because it's all metal in here. Uh, up here. Um, my lights are all magnetized, too. Um and in fact, any like that tray up there that I use sometimes for a snack lights. at night. It's oh, okay. So that that's where you store your tray at. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And a little light over there. Yeah. I have one of those also. This, LED light. this, you know what this is? I have occasionally stopped at a truck stop, and those are earplugs because sometimes you're just sleeping at a truck oh, stop. Oh, behind the fan, yeah, in that right there. Container, and you want to reach them real fast and go right back to sleep. Right. <laughs> this is one of those little tiny lights, you know barely dim but mm -hmm. in the middle of the night mm -hmm. now um, tell me what you do for bathroom so i don't go in here i always park close to a bathroom but if need be my bucket that i use for water to be poured into if i've got my you know little portable sink mm -hmm. or if i'm using it as a trash can it can be used in the middle of the night if need. in emergency in right emergency. okay i do have an awning that comes off the front but i rarely put it out it helps. It's all magnetized on one side, and then I put two poles out there, and it gives me an awning so that if I am in it when it's raining, I can get out in the morning pretty easily. And how wide is your bed? What's the size of that? It's a 30-inch wide, so it's okay. called a junior twin. And that's from Ikea? That's from Ikea. Okay. I end up putting my cooler and this container, which actually has an electric blanket, to the side, and that way, if I roll, I've got a solid surface. I won't, I won't lose my pillows. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, Karen. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, everybody. Yeah. Hit the thumbs up and check out my other videos, and we'll Love see you on the, the next uh, one. The bike rack is one of my favorite things. It's so easy to take your bike off of just a few inches high mm -hmm. so that... You don't have to lift it high. No, I don't have to lift it very yeah. high at all. It goes on easily. It comes off easily. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Karen. Thanks. <laughs> And she's got the sleeves over the windows there, so she has screen there, but still gives her some privacy. All right, everybody, see you on the next video. Hit the thumbs up. Bye.